Hi. Now what we have here is the rectangular hyperbola H has Cartesian equation x, y equals 9. And we've got these points P and Q with coordinates 3P, 3 over P, and 3Q, 3 over Q. And these points lie on H, where P doesn't equal plus or minus Q. And what we've got to do is show that the equation of the tangent at P is x plus p squared y equals 6p. And then write down the equation of the tangent at q. So if you haven't tried this question already and would like to give it a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll run through the work solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, what I'd want to do is just write down the equation of h. That's xy equals 9. And to get a tangent, we need to work out what the gradient is at any point on this curve. So I'm going to make y the subject by dividing by x. So we get y equals 9 over x, or 9x to the power minus 1. And so I can differentiate this now with respect to x to get the gradient. So dy by dx would be equal to minus 9 x to the power minus 2, which I'm going to write as 9 over x squared. OK, now we just need to get that gradient at p when x equals 3p. So we'll just say here that when x equals 3p, what we've got is therefore dy by dx is going to equal minus 9 then over x squared, so that's going to be 9p squared. And clearly we can simplify this, okay, because those two 9s cancel. Let's just cancel them out here. One there, one there. So what we get is therefore dy by dx equals minus 1 over p squared. So this puts us in a good position now to get the equation of the tangent at p. Being a straight line, just apply y minus y1 equals m, the gradient, multiplied by x minus x1. And we've got our x1 value and our y1 value here. So in the normal way, I'm just going to put an introduction here, therefore equation of tangent, OK, at p, what is it going to be? Well, we'll just put is here. It's going to be y minus y1, so that's going to be 3 over p equals m, the gradient, which is minus 1 over p squared, multiplied by x minus x1, x1 being 3p. So I want to get rid of the fractions here, the p and the p squared, so I'm going to multiply both sides by p squared. So if we do that, we therefore have p squared times y. If I multiply this term by p squared, that p gets cancelled out with one of the p's in p squared, leaving me with minus 3p equals We'll just have minus 1 here, multiplied by x minus 3p. So if I expand the bracket, I'm going to get minus x plus 3p. And all I need to do now is just add x to both sides and add 6p to both sides. So therefore, if I do that, I'm going to get x and then plus the p squared y equals 3p plus another 3p, which equals 6p. And that's what we had to show. OK? Now, when it comes to the next part, part B, OK, we better put that as part A. When it comes to part B, write down the equation of the tangent at Q. Well, it's going to have the same format as what we've just got here, OK? Obviously, we had P's in this one. We've got the same pattern structure here, only the P is replaced by Q. So I'm just going to write a little intro here. OK, so we've got the equation of tangent okay, 
at Q is, and what's it going to be? Well, it's going to be x plus q squared y equals 6q. So it's x plus q squared y equals 6q. All right.